So once upon a time, a little girl named Amy was born. Amy was the youngest of four sisters and the daughter of two very excited parents. The second her parents brought her home, her three sisters oohed and odd over the new addition to the family. But ten years later, problems started to arise. Jess, Amy's oldest sister, is a senior in high school and is amazing at acting. She got the lead role in the high school play all four years. She's head of the drama club and currently takes five AP classes and volunteers at an animal shelter four days a week. On top of this, she keeps a 4.0 GPA and is rumored to be valedictorian this year. The next eldest daughter's name is Mary. Mary's a sophomore who's absolutely gorgeous and seems to be friends with the entire student body. She's invited to every major party and is the class clown. Everybody loves her. Mary has the voice of an angel and leads worship every Sunday at the family's church while also managing to be the best player on the basketball team. Mary earned a full ride scholarship to an Ivy League school for basketball and five scholarships simply because of what an amazing person she is. Jane's the third child and is an incredible genius while only being in eighth grade. Even though her sisters are smart, Jane's a prodigy. She scored a perfect 36 on the ACT in seventh grade and plans to be a neuroscientist after graduating high school a few years early. Jane's also an amazing cook and plans to own a restaurant on the side. And then there's Amy. Amy's in the sixth grade and is only average. You could say she's pretty for being in the awkward stages of life, but she isn't near as beautiful as her other sisters. She's a good student, but she won't be receiving a perfect score on her ACT. She's hardly athletic in any way and can't cook at all. However, as Amy grew up, she developed a very competitive side, probably because she always felt in competition with her three other sisters, and now she felt she had to earn approval from her parents and her peers. One day at school, Amy is sitting in English class trying to participate in a discussion. When she raises her hand to say something, the teacher points at her and stutters, Mary, I mean Jane, no, Amy. This was an everyday occurrence and Amy was used to it, so she continued with her thought. After she finished speaking, she noticed the teacher giving her a blank stare and an awkward silence filled the room. No one spoke, but the teacher's face said it all as she shook her head and back and forth in disapproval. You're nothing like your sisters, Amy, she spat, and then proceeded to call on someone else. The environment and surroundings were greatly affecting Amy's development, whether she knew it or not. That was the last straw. She's struggling with a feeling of inferiority to her sisters, while at the same time trying to be her own person and accomplish things for herself. She's constantly fighting to cope with new social and academic demands, as well as keep up with what her siblings are accomplishing. She feels inferior to her seemingly perfect siblings. One day, Amy desperately tries to gain her parents' approval by cleaning the house, cooking dinner, and complimenting her sisters all without being asked. However, she still didn't feel like her parents were proud of her. A few years later in college, she realizes how silly she was for always being in competition with her sisters and worrying about how she ranked with them. She now realizes she never had to try and earn her parents' approval, but that they'd always been proud of her no matter what. She's now pursuing a career as a Spanish teacher and spends most of her nights hanging out with all of her friends who share similar interests. The competitiveness that was sparked by her sister's success actually benefited Amy in the long run because it pushed her to work hard at school and being a better person altogether. Jess earned her college degree in drama and is now teaching classes and getting paid well. Mary was recently engaged to a Hollister model and is still playing basketball at her Ivy League school while doing well in her studies. Jane has graduated early just like she planned and is almost done with pre-med while also working on business plans for the restaurant. They had all succeeded in life. The three sisters meet for lunch every Wednesday and they've all become amazingly close despite their different talents and gifts. They spend hours on end laughing and joking around with each other while also occasionally bringing up the sibling rivalry involved in their childhood and how silly it was. All three of the sisters admitted to being jealous of each other. Amy smiled with delight because she discovered that rivalry such as theirs is normal. They had all felt feelings of inferiority at some point and competed to be the best. Now that they're past it, they can focus on becoming closer as sisters and closer as a family overall. Amy's finally beginning to see that it's okay to be different. Even though she may not possess the same talents as her three sisters, her parents don't love her any less. When she looks back on her childhood, she sees that her parents never showed favoritism. It was all just a big game inside her own mind, and in the end, the competition ultimately turned out to be a good thing. She pushed to be the best that she could be because of her sister's success, which in turn made for her own success. Amy is comfortable in who she is, and she's starting to love life with her sisters and now best friends.